GeekBot is a Slack bot that automates your team's routines. In this video, we'll go through the steps to set it up and create our first standup. We will start by adding GeekBot to our Slack workspace, so I will go ahead and press the Add to Slack button. We just have to give GeekBot some permissions to our workspace, so make sure to select the correct workspace from the dropdown over here. Once we do that, we press Allow to proceed. That's it! You're ready to create your first standup. First, we must set the name. Daily standup seems fine, so I will leave it like this. Now let's specify when GeekBot should contact members for the standup. Click on the schedule to see what settings we can edit. We have the options of scheduling the standup for a period of every one to four weeks, at the first or last week of each month, or set it to a one-time standup. I will choose weekly for this example, since I want GeekBot to contact our team every week from Monday to Friday. Next, we can select the time and the time zone. I am going to set the time to 9 a.m., and since our team is distributed, I will also select user's local time zone. This will tell the bot to contact people at 9 a.m. on their own respective time zone. We also have the choice of either letting the bot contact people exactly on the scheduled time, or wait until they appear online before sending them a DM. For this, I will set it to contact participants as soon as the scheduled time comes. Great! Just press apply and that's it! Now let's see the questions of our standup. At a quick glance, we can see an intro message, a set of questions, and an outro message. Both messages and questions are customizable, but for now, I will stick with the default ones. Now we can select the channel where the responses will be posted. For that, I suggest creating a new channel in your Slack workspace called Status. However, you can use whichever channel you prefer. Let's continue with adding more participants. Your team members are automatically imported through Slack, so you can simply select them from a list, or type in their name to look for them. For now, I am going to add Susan and Brandon. We can also adjust the privileges of each participant by clicking on Advanced Options. Since I am the one creating this standup, I automatically get View, Report, and Manage Privileges. Let's go over this for just a sec to see what each privilege means. The View privilege allows participants to access a standup in the dashboard. Participants with the Report privilege receive DMs from the bot and actually post reports. Finally, participants granted the Manage privilege are allowed to edit the settings of the standup. Now, let's assume I personally don't want to report to this standup, so I will remove the Report option from myself. Additionally, I want Susan to be able to edit the report, so I will give her Manage rights. That's it! Alternatively, we can sync a standup with a Slack channel. This setting automatically adds all members of the channel to the standup, but I will not do this for now. Click Apply, and you are done! With the participants added, we can go ahead and save our standup. Awesome! We just created our first standup in only a few clicks. GeekBot will take over from here and ask the participants according to the schedule we just set. Next, we will be going in deeper on how you can create different kinds of standups that your team can use to automate processes in your daily work.